These amazing contractors are all here to learn how to build water features today. One, two, three. Woo! Now you just wait to see what they do when we plug this baby in. What's up guys? It's good to be back on the YouTube channel. I am with Ben over there and DJ out here with like 40 contractors or so uh, down here at Souders Hardscape in, what is this, New Holland? Yeah, New Holland. And uh, we're coming down here for two things. We talked this morning, had a session this morning about knowing your numbers and the software that we built around managing jobs, estimating correctly, scheduling, tracking time and all of that. And uh, just taught some principles around knowing your numbers. I got a big truck here, you probably can't hear me. So we did that for an hour this morning while the rain stopped and thankfully the rain's holding off. We got a huge system a little bit to the west of us here that's, we must be out of it. But we're building this big fountain display here in front of their main entrance that is gonna be like their showstopper. We're right along the road here. So of course it's gonna be kind of that attention grabber that they're looking for. And uh, these contractors are all here to learn more about aquascapes and water features and how to install them. Now, one thing about learning or dipping your feet into the water on water features, no pun intended, is that this kind of fountainscape that's here, that's here behind me is definitely a little more complicated. Uh, it's probably not the thing I would encourage for you to build the first for, the, for your first water feature. What I would encourage you to build as a first water feature is maybe take one of those urns or one of those um, bowls or something like that, or a bubbling rock, and install that with a little mini basin and then move up to a more complicated piece like this that takes manifolds like this with all kinds of ball valves and distri distribution with the correct size pumps and all of that. Do that later after you've kind of built up your confidence with uh, installing a few smaller water features. Just a little bit of a uh, caution there. But then, uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna try to get this thing all plumbed up here. Hopefully get pretty close by lunchtime and be awesome if we can pull out of here with this thing plugged in, boulders in, running, aquatics planted. That's the goal. Shooting some uh, introduction footage for the uh, YouTube channel. Who all wants to be on the Tussie YouTube channel? Woo! Yeah. Come on, give us a one, two, three, then a woo, arms up in the air, okay? Do we, do we all scream Tussie? <laughs> all right. These amazing contractors are all here to learn how to build water features today. One, two, three. Woo! Now you just wait to see what they do when we plug this baby in. So Ben right here is building out the manifold to get all the ball valves to feed all those different urns and walls and bowls. Oh my, such a stud. <laughs> such a specimen. Oh, I, how about that? I'm getting a little bit more done than you are. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying this arrangement. Just like good old things. <laughs> Okay, so we've had our first rain shower that soaked everything down, but thankfully it stopped again. And we're about 80% done. Um, just Everything's plumbed up. We're just kind of core filling all these urns and uh, setting rocks and boulders and doing some foaming to get some cool waterfalls and stuff figured out in here. This is kind of how you can see how this slate urn breaks apart. This is the top half of it. We have a light right there and the cord runs down through the bottom. This whole thing's core filled. This is our supply line for the water bubbling out over the top of it. 
And we're going to put some more gravel in there to make, give it some weight so that the wind and stuff can't shift it around. There's Ben filming things up. What do you say, Ben? More moss! More moss! Yeah. These guys are busting their butts. Give them some gravel. That's one thing you can use an unlimited amount of people at. It's hauling gravel. So we are within minutes of plugging this thing in. And uh, basically the foam is just, we're just waiting on the foam to harden up. We're just going around foaming off these last couple little crevices, putting moss into the cracks like this, making sure all the little details are taken care of, all the lights are in, all the bowls are set and leveled, lights all hooked up. We're just kind of going through and putting into the aquatics, a couple details. Here you can see how the plumbing just runs right up, right? We core drilled this out, plumbing runs right up through with foam around that, lights in there, same in there. Yes, Ben. Where can we grind things in here? You want, here? Oh yeah, we need to cut here? those in, you're right. So right here, that should be one. But basically, maybe one yeah, here. yep, right. Here, and we only so need... we're gonna have a little bit, well, not hardly much of a waterfall. This is gonna be a struggle. Well, it depends how much water yeah. comes off of those. Right. Woo -hoo! Beautiful. So let's do this. You want the honors of plugging it in? Uh, where's Kevin? Okay. Where's Kevin? Okay, come on, Kevin. Let's plug it in. Again, we're here at Hardscape, uh, Hard yeah, I'll butcher that. Satter's Hardscape Supply, building this fantastic fountainscape, and it is getting plugged in right now. Here we go. It's gonna be some frantic valve adjusting here, right here in the first minute or so. Turning them up to full volume. I think we got a little excited here. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually pretty cool. You should leave that. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, we've gone through and adjusted all the valves. This thing is looking fantastic. Thanks a lot, guys. What do you all think? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Awesome. Thanks for pitching in. Hope you guys learned something and uh, are inspired to take it, take your knowledge home and. Recreate it in your own businesses. Say what, Ben? I like that stump and the depth that you have back in there. That falls back in there. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Real deep. That depth makes it look, um, yeah, it's just give it interest. Epic. 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 That's, that's the word. It Unreal. That is my favorite part. I like how this knock end up, too. It's yeah. Almost is like, it's almost like you planned that. Yeah, I know. Run around the edge, right into the cavern. Well, I have, I have the, the pond hands. You have the mark of a pond builder? Yeah. Let me see that. The pond hands. Oh my goodness, your manicure is awful. Hmm. How do you take care of that, Ben? You just work it off. Yeah. What did it actually come out that it would have cost? Uh, without any of the hardscape, only the water feature, 30 yeah. grand. 30 grand. Yep. Okay. And that was just the water feature. Just the water feature. No landscaping, yep. no nothing, just the water feature. Yep. Probably a better number to shoot out of other people because like access is a big contributor. Yeah. You know, a better number to shoot out there because they're going to expect, you know, some landscaping and some extra boulder work around it. I mean, I'd, I'd be more comfortable shooting out a 35 to 40 number mm -hmm. so and then working yeah, down from that if you need to as opposed to 30 and packing on to it. Right. You know, but um, yeah, that's with Tussie's labor rate and oh, yeah. okay. that's going to vary. But you know what, that's what they should regardless be. anybody should be trying yeah, that yeah. that wasn't excessive i mean that was for some high level experience going on yeah yeah I mean, you had figured 60 hours that's that's moving that's moving yeah yeah you could definitely get brain cramps over putting something like this in yeah <laughs> and the first couple it took us way longer and now it's just kind of like I don't know, you just kind of figured the most efficient way out. Like, yeah. that, there was times when we'd put a couple pieces in and plumb them all up and then keep working, and now we just kind of like, get it all like staged. I mean, if I tell a new guy that, you know, figure 60 hours, I'm gonna- Nah, I would tell a new guy to figure 90 to 100, oh, yeah. you know. Okay, that's with everything staged here, too. Exactly, you, know I mean? you guys had it perfect. Um, so this is Phil from Souders. Tell right. us where to find you. Uh, you can find us on our website. Just go to soudershardscape.com, or you can go to our Facebook page, or we have Instagram also. Sounds good. Right. What's your yeah. role here? I'm actually, I do, uh, I'm the lead sales. Okay. In here. Okay. So, yeah. Well, thanks. It was a pleasure yeah. working with you. Same with you. And Kevin, what's your role? So this is Water. Kevin, by the way. Kevin with Souders. Water gardens and natural stone. Okay. Take care of all the natural stone fabrications. That's and the fun part. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> well, thanks a lot for all your hard work and all the prep work. That was definitely made the project go easier. Yep. Thanks for everything you just did. You're welcome. Great day. Yep.